Hey everyone, welcome to Church at Home. My name is Ariel and today is such a great day because we're learning all about Jesus. Jesus is the very best friend that we could ever have. Jesus had a lot of friends who we can read about in the Bible. Two of those friends are named Mary and Martha. Speaking of best friends, did you know Jesus always will show us what is best? That's right, and that reminds me of our big idea for today. When I'm friends with Jesus, I can learn what is best. All right, let's say it on three. Ready? One, two, three. When I'm friends with Jesus, I can learn what is best. Jesus showed his friends, Mary and Martha, what was best. And we're gonna learn today about their story soon. But first, I wanna sing one of my favorite songs. It's called This Love. And it's all about how special Jesus' love is. Jesus is the very best friend and he loves us so much. Let's stand up and sing together. This song we're gonna sing is all about God's love for us. It's called This Love. We're gonna start by singing, oh we oh, this love, this love. Are you guys ready to do that with me? Okay, hands up. Oh we oh, this love, this love. Let's do it again. Oh, this love, this love. 
I love that song so much. Jesus loves us so much. He loves everyone in the whole world and wants to be everyone's friend. You know, there's a story in the Bible about two of Jesus' friends, Mary and Martha, and we can read it in this book right here. It's the Bible. This is God's special book for us. It's a book from God that tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. One day, Jesus visited Mary and Martha at their house. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch our Bible story to find out what happens next. Slapstick Theater. Jesus visits Mary and Martha. This is Jesus, Hey-o. who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he healed many people from their sickness and did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem with his disciples, and they came to a village where a woman named Martha welcomed them into her home. Hey, everyone. While Jesus was there, Martha's sister Mary sat at Jesus' feet and listened to him while he taught. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But Jesus said to her, My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. Wow, I love that story. Jesus showed Mary and Martha what was best. And did you know what it was? The best thing was spending time with Jesus. Martha was busy preparing dinner while Mary spent time with Jesus. It's good to help cook and clean, but the best choice is always to be with Jesus. When we can be with Jesus, we can pray, we can make time to go to church, and we can make good choices instead of bad ones. Another way we can be with Jesus is by reading the Bible. And I have a really special verse I want to show you from the Bible. I want to show it to you, but oh no, it's covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so that we can read it? Grab some bubbles if you have them and let's go. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them by the side. That's it, all right, all right, keep going, yay! We're almost there, we're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go, one, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. Ah. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere. Yay! Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. You guys helped me pop all the bubbles. Now we can see our Bible verse. John 13, 34 says this. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Let's sing that song together right now. Stand up and let's get ready to sing and dance to our Bible verse song. We're going to sing John 13, 34. You guys, these are the words that Jesus said to us. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Let's sing it together. So now I'm giving you a new You guys, we're gonna sing that all over again. Let me see you stomp your feet. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Yeah, you should love each other. John 13, 34.
right, you guys, get ready to clap your hands. Here we go. All right, we're gonna sing that whole thing over again. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. Let me hear you sing it out. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. You should love each other. Yeah, you should love each other. John 13, 34, oh. John 13, 34 is the best. That song reminds us that Jesus is our very best friend because he loves us so much. He loved his friends, Mary and Martha, and he loves you too. And because Jesus loves you, he wants to teach you what is best. But he also wants to help you when you aren't sure what the best choice is. If you aren't sure what the best choice is, you can read your Bible and look for the answer or ask a parent or an adult who loves Jesus too. You can even think about the story of Mary and Martha. Remember, spending time with Jesus is always the best choice you can make. I think our friends Jim and Giff have some more to teach us about what is best. You know what? They're in their clubhouse right now. And we're gonna put on our listening ears, our thinking caps, and we're gonna get ready to learn more about our friend Jesus. Hi. Oh, one more minute, one more minute. Mm, okay. Well, I was just reading my Bible. I love God's special book for us. This book helps me learn about what is best and it helps me learn about Jesus. Jim was going to read it with me, but mm, Jim, are you almost done? Yeah, I'm almost done. Just a few more minutes. Mm, okay. Well, I guess we can talk. I was just reading about Jesus and I noticed that he was a really good friend. What do you like about your friend? My friend Deacon told me something really fun about his friends. Let's see what it is. Hi, my name is Deacon. My two friends' names are Emmanuel and Elliot. And they are always funny to me and and I'm always funny to them. I love that, Deacon. I love being funny with my friends. Laughing is so much fun. What was fun? Well, Deacon just told us something fun about his friends, Emmanuel and Elliot. Oh man, I missed it. Well, yeah, you were playing with your iPad while our friends were talking to us. Well, I just wanted to finish my show. Oh, hey, hey Melly. What are you up to? Well, I was just reading a story about Mary and Martha in the Bible. Oh, who are they? There are two women who were friends with Jesus. Jesus came to visit them and Mary sat with Jesus, but Martha was way too busy. Too busy for Jesus? Yeah, Martha even got upset because Mary wasn't helping her. It's good to help clean and cook like Martha, but Jesus said the best thing to do at the time was to spend time with him like Mary was. Oh, maybe I should have listened to that story. You didn't hear the story? No, I was playing on my iPad. Oh, I love playing on my iPad. Me too, but it is good to remember that the best thing to do is to spend time with Jesus. Oh, how do you spend time with Jesus? Well, we can listen to what Jesus says in the Bible stories or talk to him when we pray. I know I can make time to go to church even when I want to play on my iPad. That sounds like fun. I love church and I love hearing Bible stories. Jesus has so much to teach us in the Bible. The Bible always says what is best. When we are friends with Jesus, we can learn what's best. I am going to try to learn what's best, and I'm sorry that I played on my iPad instead of spending time with you. It's okay, Jim. I forgive you. And now we can all spend time together. 
Oh, yay! I saw a tree outside that looks good for climbing. You want to come? Yeah. yeah! Remember that when we're friends with Jesus, we can learn what's best. Jesus wants to be your friend, and he loves you so much. We love you too. Yes, we do. We'll see you around. Bye. Bye. Whoa, Jim was so busy playing with his iPad that he missed a special message from his friend. Playing games and watching shows is so fun, and I love to do it, but sometimes the best choice is to spend time with our friend Jesus instead. Let's spend some time with Jesus right now by praying to him. So let's put five fingers here and five fingers here and put them together for a prayer. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for being our very best friend and for showing us what is best. Help us remember that spending time with you is always the best thing to do. We love you so much. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us for Church at Home. We're done with our time here together, but we have fun crafts, activities, and things for you to do at home. Just have your grown up at home help you and go to saddlebackkids.com to check it out. And remember, our big idea for today is this. When we're friends with Jesus, we can always learn what is best. Have a great week. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.